What is up everybody, Dan Dan the Fireman here, and we're gonna be talking about how to turn a very sharp turn from a stop. I have right here my Harley Sportster. It's a not very nimble bike, but it's, it's pretty nimble. And we're gonna be going and practicing this. Now you're gonna probably need one of these situations where you're gonna need to learn how to turn like this coming out of a parking space. Maybe you pulled in, you gotta pull out, but there's people, there's so many people, so you try to make it nice and easy, plus you look cool. Another thing is if you're gonna have to stop at a red light, turn right, and make a super sharp turn. Uh, who knows, you might be going too abreast when you're riding with a group. I don't recommend it, obviously staggered, but you're gonna have to stay in your lane. You can't go wide. Now, a lot of issues that people have when they go from a stop to turning left or turning right, a little bit too much throttle, makes them go upright, makes them go wide. And then from there, when you get the speed, you get used to the counter steering. So what we're gonna be talking about is how to do it without having to get a ton of speed, without having to do anything crazy, and doing it safely. Now, I talked about counterbalance in my last video and on how to set up for the turn. Now, a lot of the counterbalance principles remains the same. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up. So I have my cones here. I'm gonna be turning left in between the cones and this stripe right here. So the parking space is roughly 10 feet. So this is probably four and a half, five feet of space that I have to turn straight down that way. The only way you're going to turn, the only way you're gonna turn is if you have your handlebars fully tilted. You can't have it a little bit, you're gonna go that way. Even with this, it's gonna go between those two cones. If I just ride straight like this, it's gonna go between those two cones. So I have to fully tilt these bars, and at the same time, I have to lean. So when you lean, what causes the, the, the turning and all the lean and all that stuff is the way the tire is shaped. Uh, think of a, a uh, coffee cup, like a styrofoam coffee cup, laid on its side and roll it, it's gonna go in a circle because one side is smaller, one side is bigger. That is how your tires work. So when you do this, you're gonna have a smaller contact patch on the inside, wider here, it's gonna rotate and turn. So when you have a full tilt on the handlebars and the lean, you're gonna go. Now, if we start off like this and start going, I'm gonna fall down. We need centrifugal forces to keep ourselves upright or we can create our own by counterbalancing on this side with my right leg. So just to show you on this side, so let's say I'm turning right, and I'm leaning, foot on the peg, foot applying pressure, the bike is still leaning, I'm applying counterbalance weight. So the bike is leaning like this, and it wants to fall over. I'm leaning like this, therefore creating the counterbalance. I talk very extensively in my previous video, you should watch that on how to set up for a motorcycle turn it applies to everything you do. Okay, so let's go ahead and start it. Let's go ahead and just do it. So this is a left-handed turn. So I'm gonna show you the basics. I'm gonna show it nice and easy. So full tilt, I gotta start leaning. Well, first I gotta put it in first gear. Start leaning, applying pressure to the outside leg. Now don't do too much to where you're sitting up straight because that defeats the purpose. So you still need to have some lean, but you won't fall down if you apply a little bit of throttle. See how the, the friction zone, it wants to go. If you give it a little bit of throttle with your clutch pulled in, it's gonna reduce power to the rear wheel. So if you find that friction zone, give it just a little bit of throttle while leaning and you'll actually start turning correctly. So this is all practice. See how I was able to maintain a line right there? It's all practice. So let's keep practicing. So. Put the handlebars to the left, lean the bike, apply pressure to the right passenger peg, and go. And look, obviously you wanna look where you wanna go. Rotate the body and look. Now let's see if we can make it smoother on the third transition, the third time. So I'm gonna stop on the outside. I'm gonna try to get as much clearance as I possibly can. Okay, now lean, apply pressure, look. Did not put my foot down on that one at all, and I stayed near the line. Now, can it be smoother? Can I do it smoother than that? Let's try it. We're gonna do one more left-handed turn. We're gonna switch to right hand, and it's gonna be the same exact principle. So I'm gonna stop right here, full tilt, lean the bike, counterbalance with the right peg, look, a little bit of throttle, and I ran over the cone. <laughs> This is all practice, but that is the basic concept. I, at no point am I saying I'm an expert at this. I am learning with you guys. So we're gonna do the same thing over here. So I'm parked on the right. 
turn to the right, lean over to the right, apply pressure to the left peg, and go. Okay, it's a little nerve wracking, it's a little nerve wracking, but we're gonna keep practicing it. And this is what you gotta do. At no point are you ever an expert. Sometimes you gotta put your foot down, sometimes you don't. And when you don't, you feel good. And when you don't, you figure out why. So lean, apply pressure. Nice and easy. See, look at it, I'm, I'm able to get my right side done pretty well. My problem with that one was I was looking at the ground. I need to look where I'm going. So these are common problems when it comes to this stuff and I'm learning right with you guys. So lean, full tilt, apply pressure to the left peg because I'm turning right. Look where I want to go. There you go. That's all within a five foot section of a parking space. So this is what parking lot practice looks like and I highly recommend you guys do it. So here we go again. I'm on the outside as much as I possibly can. Let's say this is a curb, I can't go any further. I'm gonna full tilt the bike, full tilt the handlebars. I'm gonna lean the bike. So now it wants to turn, but I'm gonna apply some counter pressure so it doesn't fall because of gravity. Now I gotta get it right in the friction zone and give it a little bit of throttle, okay? So look where I wanna go. Nice and easy. And that is how you practice from a stop to a turn in the parking lot. And it really does work when you have to go into an intersection and you're gonna have to go. Just realize you're not gonna fall. You don't have to go wide to make these turns. If you go wide and somebody else is wanting to turn and they go into your lane, you get clipped. So it's best to have this much practice, the practice of you making such a sharp turn that if you have to, you can make it a little bit wider if you have to. But you always wanna have more tools in your toolbox. You don't wanna always have to go wide because if something's there, you don't know how to go sharp. So if you know how to do sharp and you know how to do wide, that's two tools in your toolbox in case something happens. And I just realized it's a lot shorter on this side than this side. <laughs> But you can definitely practice. You don't need to have these middle cones. You can definitely practice with just a line. Park your foot or park the front tire along the line and try to make it within this parking spot. This is still a very tiny space. I just wanted to exaggerate and show you what I mean. And it, this is what I'm practicing. But if you guys want to see more about counterbalance, please, 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 please check out my latest or my last video uh, on how to properly set up for a turn. You need to check that video out. I'll put a link in the description for that. And uh, just keep practicing. Keep practicing so you can become a lot more confident in your riding. Therefore, you're safer. Okay? With that said, I hope you guys ride safe, be safe, and I'm going to keep practicing. All right? I'm going to see you guys later. Oh yeah, that was a good one. That was a good one.